amongst us is Brahma Kumar Mohan Singhal Bhai, um, who will be taking the topic Conquering Nature. He has been in knowledge since 1962 and taken a lot of sustenance from Baba and Mama. Uh, when he, he came in contact with the Brahma Kumaris when he was studying. Uh, then later on he did job in many of the organizations but then when he was working in uh, ONGC uh, he took Walter retirement in 1996. From then onwards he is uh, dedicated in Baba service. He re took a Walter retirement when he was a superintendent, superintendent um, in geophysist. Presently, he is looking after the training activities of the institution and is the academic coordinator of the Brahma Kumaris Academy for a Better World, Gan Since 1988, he is the national coordinator of scientists and, uh, scientists and engineers wing of Rajyog Education Research Foundation. He is also the member of governing body of Rajyog Education and Research Foundation. Under his leadership, seven environmental rallies have been organized in different states of India and abroad. He was, it was during uh, Indo-Nepal Environmental Awareness Campaign in 1992 that in recognition of his services in the field of envir environmental <coughs> awareness, he was awarded Paryavaran Shri in 1992 by Shri Arjun Singh, the then HRD Minister Government of India. In recognition of his service in the field of human resource development, he was honored by an international award from International Association of Education for World Peace and Commonwealth Association for Education and Training of Adults in the year 19, in the year 2004. He has traveled widely in USA and UK. Uh, he has created a number of exhibitions on various themes such as industrial peace, children upliftment, youth development, etc. He has authored five books also on themes like <coughs> spiritual empowerment, global cooperation for a better world, new direction in education, science, spirituality, ethics and environment, and rural development. Most respected Brahma Kumar Mohan Singhal Bhai will cover the topic Conquering Nature. Om Shanti. Om Shanti. Baba always says that victory is your birthright. And whenever we <coughs> listen the word victory, conquer, success, we feel elevated. Our spirit goes high because we all want success in life. Whatever be the field, wherever we are working. But we all crave to go higher and higher in the field wherever we are working. And as far as this, our Brahman life is concerned, here, one of the foremost thing which Baba always says that you have to conquer your old sanskars, your so-called nature, which has been troubling you in your path towards victory. In fact, <coughs> nature word is having two meanings. We all know. One is <coughs> our human nature and the other one is five elements of this external nature. The earth, water, air, 
ether, fire, etc. <coughs> and whenever we are talking about conquering the nature, then Baba means that we have to conquer both of these natures. And before us, there is only one soul who is role model before us and who is a symbol of who has conquered the nature. Who is that soul? Brahma Baba. Brahma Baba, right <coughs> from the beginning, when he had some divine insight, divine visions, then Baba's aim was first to conquer his inner nature, his old sanskars. And it is very clear from two diaries, very old diaries, which Baba has written in his own handwritings and which are presently with Ishu Dadi, I think so. And we you know in one diary, Baba has practiced right from the beginning, maybe little earlier than 1936 or so, that I am soul, Jasoda is soul. Jasoda was the name of his Lokic wife. Nirmala is soul, his business partner, and almost all the relatives, etc., wherever <coughs> one's mind goes. So Baba practiced it by writing again and again. The whole diary is full of his handwriting. And we all know, we must have been the student in our Lokic education, that whatever is usually written, then it is relatively easy to memorize it, to keep it in mind. Let me ask myself that since when I have come in this knowledge, and we know that the first lesson is that I am soul, you are soul, everybody is soul. So how far I have practiced it by writing again and again. Though no doubt we practice it in our meditation, in classes, theoretically we know very well. But when we come in the practical world, we are with our colleagues, our relations. So at that time, how far I go in this direction that each and everybody is soul and I am not able to see the body. And it was quite clear from Baba's life because I had the good fortune to be with Brahma Baba for about six to seven years. So whenever anybody used to go to Baba, our parties, Baba will spread his hand, oh dear children, sweet children, come on, oh my dear sweet children. And so much was the magnetic pull in that one, because these were not only the words that Baba used to utter, but his vibrations and the feeling of that I am soul, he is soul, she is soul, everybody is soul. So that used to pull everybody and irrespective of one's age, one's sex, whatever, everybody used to go in the Baba's lap. So let me inquire because we have to follow Brahma Baba. We all are, say, so-called Brahma Kumars and Brahma Kumaris. We have become. So 
that is why we all have to follow whatever Baba has done, what, what Baba did. So let me inquire that with whom I meet, whether everybody feels that type of vibrations, that type of feeling. And as far as I am myself concerned, whether I am able to see everybody as soul as Baba used to see. And that will come by practicing again and again, writing. So go deep in this one. That is a question of introspection. So in one diary that Baba has written about all his relative, relations, wife, children, business partner and others, that he is soul, he is soul, she is soul, like that. In the second diary, you may be knowing, hmm? the second diary is full of, as Baba says, that daily have the meeting with your subtle sanskars. These subtle sanskars, we all know our mind, intellect and these resolves, sanskars. So daily have a court with them. And Baba did it just in the very beginning when Baba realized that, oh, I am soul, I am the king. The mind is not the king, the soul is king. Mind is a minister. Mind is to, has to follow the orders of the soul. So Baba is talking and in the diary, what that is written is, Oh, mind, Baba is talking with his mind and with his intellect. Mind. Though I am the king, I am soul king, but you have been always guiding me. And me, even as the king, was always following you. But you have never shown me the right path. You have made me weak, though I am king. But now, oh my mind, let me tell you that now onwards you have to follow me. Now I have established in my power. I am the king, the soul, and you are my minister. You have to obey my orders. So these are written the Baba's, what the Baba is talking with his mind. Similarly, Baba is talking with his intellect. Oh, intellect, you have also been following the mind. And whatever mind used to say, you were following and I have also been following you. But now I say that I am the king and you have to follow me. You are my minister. Similarly, likewise, with the resolves, sanskars. So daily Baba used to talk with them and daily in the diary it is written and the improvement was so fast that uh, in the beginning there were signs that Baba is talking with his mind, intellect, etc. And it looks like that sometimes the Baba was feeling as he is being defeated by mind. Mind is taking his own course, own direction. Though the soul doesn't want, but the mind, because mind has got the practice to work independently. As Baba said in this very Murli also of 3rd February. In fact, Baba did the whole course of how to manage the mind, the mind management. So this Baba practiced as early as in 1936, which is very clear from his diary. So this is what is required now that I, I have to introspect, I have to see myself that what Baba was doing, am I moving in the same direction? 
am I also practicing this thing and talking with my these ministers because all our Pursharat, all our activities are for that very moment, for, for that second, when we leave our body. In the end, we all have to leave our body. So, I have to see that my Pursharat is like that, that when I leave the body at that time, nobody is there in my mind except Baba and Baba's teachings, Baba's remembrance. And that is why in Hindi it is said that Ant Mate Sogate means whatever is there in my mind in the last moment, accordingly my birth, rebirth will be there. So I am practicing for that very moment when I have to leave the body. What else Baba practiced? Because Baba gradually was controlling his nature and inner nature, first the external nature and the inner nature. And this external nature means these five sense organs. Usually in general we believe these sense organs that, oh, they are guiding us, my eyes, ears, and tongue, touch, etc., skin. But in fact, the real culprit is mind and intellect. And when I, the soul, gets defeated by my mind, then accordingly these, my sense organs, also work independent. So Baba was practicing right from the beginning, all these things. Then earlier, in my early days, when I used to come to Madhuban, <coughs> then Baba used to sit with us, our party, and used to give sufficient time, because the, our family, divine family was also not very big, small. But as Baba was approaching towards his karmatit stage, the final stage, then a few things were specially observed, what I observed in Baba. Whenever our party used to go, party used to come, and as now we all know, we, you go to Dadiji and other seniors, <coughs> The, this was the practice whenever use, we used to come to Madhuban. After refreshing ourselves, we used to meet Baba first. So gradually in the later stage, we have seen that whether we are meeting to Baba in his room or in the hut or in the meditation or the history room, but Baba is just as sitting as usual, normal. But mentally, Baba used to be somewhere else. And when we used to call Baba, Baba, then sometimes and often, quite often, Baba used to get a sort of little jerk and then coming to the body and then talking, Oh, are you telling something? Oh, like that. So physically, Baba used to be here in the body, but mentally, he used to be away. And as Baba has to do some Pursharat to come back in the body, let me ask myself whether I have to do the effort to go out from the body or to from the, this physical world to the subtle or the divine words, or I have to make efforts to come from that world to this one. Hmm? We all will agree that our answer will be that we have to make effort to go out from this body. So in the beginning, this is very normal. But now as the time is advancing fast and fast, 
we have to introspect ourselves that physically though I am here in this body but mentally let me be there and which was quite clearly visible with Baba. Baba used to take us and physically though Baba is there but mentally Baba used to be away whether he is walking, he is talking even while he is taking food just Baba used to be most of the time as away from the body. So we have also to enhance this practice to be away from the body. What else? Because I was in, in the beginning an engineering college student and uh, I was studying science, technology. So there were quite a good number of things which uh, were not matching as per the science subjects. So often, quite often I used to come to Baba and ask some of the things. But as Baba was advancing towards his karma teeth stage, what I observed especially that we used to go before Baba and then Baba will just give a drishti and say, Oh, you have come for this one. This is your question. Okay, do like this. This will be like this. Baba used to tell whatever is there in my mind and also used to give the answer. It happened once, twice, thrice, four times. Number of times it happened. As Baba has also said in this Murli that as we advance, we go higher, we conquer our nature, old sanskars, then we will be able to read the thoughts of others. In this Murli Baba has said, isn't it? So, then I asked one of our senior dadis that how it happens. We are going before Baba and Baba just gives drishti and immediately he is telling whatever is there in our mind, in our heart. <coughs> then <coughs> Dadi replied, our senior Didi, now she is no more, that uh, you see that when we advance quite high in life, spiritual elevation is there, then it is just like as if the clean water is there and in water if there are no ripples, no waves, one can see his or her face. But if the ripples and waves are there, then it's not possible to see one's own face clearly. Similarly, these thoughts are like waves. And if I am having my own thoughts, my own subtle desires, then I can't read the desires and thoughts of others. So what is required as we go higher and higher in our life, I have to check whether I have got some unfulfilled desires and other thoughts in my mind. Because if these thoughts are there, then the people who are coming before me, I will not be able to read their thoughts. And if I don't know what is going on in their mind, how I will be able to fulfill their inner desires. Because as the time advances and as the hard times, difficult times come, then hundreds of people, thousands of people will be coming before us. Baba has said in number of Murlis that the one comes restless, peaceless person come. And with, when he goes back, let him feel as I am completely peaceful person. Unhappy, sorrowful person come, let him go as a happy man. So, though he, may, he is coming with some negativity, negat negative feelings, eh? and the feelings which are full of sorrow and unhappiness, but... Once they see you, they come before you, they get, receive your vibration, 
let them feel completely the, with peace of mind, happiness, tranquility. And that will be possible only if I am myself in that stage, even in higher stage than that one. And if I am in higher stage and I am not having my own unfulfilled desires and thoughts, then I can read other thoughts and then accordingly I can fulfill their subtle desires. So this is one of the surveys which is required, which will be required now soon. Because the hard time when it comes, the nature, the upliftment, the disturbance of nature and other things. So there is a great interconnection between the external elements of nature and my own inner nature. These five elements of nature will also be ruled they will be ruled by me if I am able to rule my own inner nature. If I have got full control over my nature, then this outer nature can easily be controlled. So this we used to see. In Baba, a number of times I have seen. And I had the good fortune to be with Baba on the uh, very last day on 18th January 1969 you see I was posted after passing my engineering then I was posted at a very far off place distant place but Baba somehow indirectly called me and I reached here on 17th January 1969 so for two full days I was with Baba 17th and 18th January and those two days were the great days in my life because I had the opportunity to see Baba in the final and karmatit stage which we all will acquire sooner or later. So what I observed especially during those two days that so earlier also we used to meet Baba. But when on those two days, 17th and 18th, I went in Baba's lap, so as soon as Baba just touched me, I completely became bodiless. No thought, no feeling of body, probably for the first time. So much power because Baba was having the final stage, karmatit stage. And in the final stage, whatever I want to share with others, my own power and other things, I can easily share. So this was the one thing. I had the opportunity to be with Baba for five times during those two days. Every time, this was the feeling that I am away from the body, this body is no more with me. This was one of the feeling. Another thing is that <coughs> during those two days actually, uh, especially on 18th January morning, what happened? That Baba came to the class. You must have seen the history hall there in Pandavavan. And in the history hall there are three, just this, like this sandalis, and we are in one, Baba used to sit, in another one, Mama used to sit, and the middle one was for the children, because whenever we used to come, so first day, we used to narrate our experience, ki why for we have come. And after remaining in Madhuban for five, six days or ten days, whatever, then again before going back, again we used to narrate our what I achieved during the last seven, eight days. So on 18th January, let me tell you specific instances on 18th January. In the morning, Baba came to the class, 18th January. Baba came and as usual, Baba used to give drishti 
Baba's drishti was so powerful that Baba's eyes, you see, used to be with one person only for, say, three, four seconds. Baba used to give drishti like this, this, just moving very fast. Because drishti in that one, so much light and might, power used to be there that if Baba gives for more time, one was not able to receive it. For just a few seconds like this, Baba's drishti will move like this. Okay. Remaining on one person for about three, four seconds or so. So Baba came that day and then gave drishti to all as usual. <clears throat> then Baba used to clear his throat and in general we used to be ready with our diary and pen. But that day, just as in normal case, Baba will just clear his throat. But that particular day, Baba, just Brahma Baba wanted to give Murli, but it seems that Shiv Baba wanted that Brahma Baba should today give only light, light and might to all the children and uh, nothing else. So again Baba used to sit in meditation posture and give drishti. Then after some time, Dadiji was sitting in the front. So Baba drishti used to come again and again on Dadiji. And then more time on Dadiji, the drishti was concentrated. Then again used to roam to all other brothers and sisters. Then again <coughs> Baba just was getting ready to deliver the murli. But again, as we used to be ready with the diary pen, but again Baba started giving drishti. So probably that was the only day as Dadi's tell. We are not from 1936 or so, but as Dadi's used to tell those who have been with Baba, that even when Baba was operated, some operation was there, even in the hospital bed, Baba used to write Murli and then children used to read. So Murli was never missed. But on the last day, Baba gave light and might, drishti to all. And that day, Baba did not utter a word. So everybody thought and after that, Baba went out, Acha meethe meethe bachcho ko yaad pyaar, good morning, like that. Baba went out. So some thoughts were there that how is it that Baba has not spoken today. But nobody bothered much because Baba was doing all his normal work. And then throughout the day Baba wrote down number of letters. He replied all the pending letters. He did all the pending works, whatever. Then in the evening on 18th January, usually our night evening class is from 9 to 10. It is the practice right from the Baba's days. And people used to complete their dinner, etc. before that one, 9 to 10. But that particular day, Baba called <coughs> the brother who was responsible for um, collecting all the students and for informing that by today Baba will give Murli earlier. So you tell everybody that everybody should get ready by 8 o'clock or 8.15 so that Baba will come and tell the Murli. So you see Baba dropped a little hint that today Baba will come early. Then everybody finished his dinner etc. and accumulated in the history hall and about 8.15 or so, and then Baba came. And that day, Baba's, you see, form was just like completely light form as a light is traveling, light is coming. Because Baba's karmatit stage was there. Baba has conquered all these, the body elements that I will also tell you how. And then Baba came. Baba started giving Murli. And though Baba during those days it was very severe cold 
and Baba's age was also 93. But, <coughs> sorry. that day, Baba did not had the sore throat feeling and Baba's Murli, Sakar Murli, if you listen, those audio cassettes, they are also available. If you listen, those one, so Baba's flow of Murli was wonderful. Never anywhere the flow was broken due to sore throat or anything. And this is also a sign that when the karmatit stage is there, all the karmic accounts of the body, they are settled and the meditation, the yogic power, they have a complete victory over all the karmic accounts. And the whole throughout the whole completely about some half an hour or so, Baba's Murli was there, but wonderful flow. And most of the teachings, quite a good number of teaching on Shanti Stham, the Tower of Peace, they are written from that very last Murli. So like that, after giving Murli, then Baba got up and... Uh, as usual, Baba said that, oh, meethe meethe bachcho ko yaad pyaar or good night, because in the evening class Baba used to say good night, namaste, etc. But that particular day, Baba just spoke a few words and then again Baba started giving drishti to everybody. Then Baba moved one or two steps Towards the door, again Baba started telling all these things. Again and again, so Baba took sufficient time, some five, ten minutes, to go to the door, to reach to the door, and then Baba said, Okay, Baba takes your leave. Baba chutti leta, like that. Never before the Baba uttered such word. So that also gives an impression that uh, Baba was just knowing Baba's karma teeth stage was there and because Baba went one step, again Baba turned back, again Baba started giving drishti. Then after some time after giving drishti, Baba again moved towards the door, taking one or two steps, again Baba stopped. Again Baba started giving. So that day Baba was having a feeling that let me empower the all everybody with complete light, might and everything and let everybody feel just that one is so much empowered. Then after that Baba went out huh? and then we all know what happened that his hand was in the hand of Dadiji Trishti was with Dadiji and Baba just left the body. So now let me tell you how Baba conquered his this external inner nature. So we all are trying to conquer our inner nature, whatever our old sanskars are there, whatever the weak thoughts are there, weak uh, actions are there, which are not in consonance with our uh, divine values, but the external nature, external elements of nature, that now let me reveal you. Because Baba left his body on 18th January night and 19th day passed, 20th passed like that, on 21st afternoon only his body was consumed to flame, consigned to flame. But the whole body was so much shining, no medicine was given at that time in the, to the Baba's body. It was so flexible. Usually it goes, all goes against the medical norms. Once the soul leaves the body, after certain hours, body becomes stiff. It blackens, it starts disintegrating, it gives bad smell. But Baba has conquered his nature up to that extent. You see that these all things became secondary. 
and Baba conquered his nature and these how five elements of nature were conquered that it in about some 70 hours or so Baba's body was so much shining and just it was looking as Baba will again get up and say oh dear divine children sweet children come and as usual we all will go in Baba's lap and so shining no bad smell no disintegration of the body so how is it the possible because as I was telling you these five elements of nature they are going to play a very very big role in the transformation of the world and they will be responsible for majority of deaths majority of the bodies leaving the soul souls leaving the body and souls going to the soul worlds these five elements of nature the earthquake famine flood and then cyclones and like that so how not to be affected by these things because suddenly when if suppose I have to leave the body or anybody has to leave the body all of a sudden and then everywhere there is pain and sorrow and everybody is shouting because whenever the earthquake comes suddenly water comes tsunami has come so whenever these come you see the time will be like that the environment will be like that the whole atmosphere that one may not be able to remember Baba God then how not to be affected by this by this type of situation so Baba has given hint wonderfully that make friendship with these elements make friendship with the element of earth element of water this element of air ether and like that because usually when whenever there is friendship between the two then friend always safeguard the friend friend never takes the life of a friend so what does it mean how to make friendship with these elements if I suppose make the friendship with water hmm? so let me match my sanskar with the sanskars of water let me acquire the sanskar what is the sanskar of water hmm? number of things very cool yes main thing is water is very flexible you see it adjusts itself in all type of things it is in this glass it has adjusted it has come to the glass if it is taken in a bucket it will adjust itself in the bucket in the spoon everywhere it can adjust itself so if my sanskar is also like that very flexible type as per situation I adjust myself then water will never be able to take my life water this element whatever the floods come whatever the tsunami the speed the element but if suppose I have made friendship with water and I have inculcated the sanskars of water then this is only one what is the other sanskar of water huh? yes transparent very right very good my life itself should speak that transparency my action my speech my vibrations transparency even if suppose some situation changes if water you put suppose on fire huh? so it will be boiled or it will be hot but as soon as you just keep it again away from the fire again it will acquire its original stage it will cool down so as per the situation if suppose sometimes due to my old sanskar or due to some situation if suppose I lose my temper or if suppose something is there then let it not take much time as soon as the time passes 
let me acquire my earlier original stage I am peaceful soul loveful soul like that Baba has said that there are <clears throat> three types of impressions you remember that Murli hmm? if suppose impressions we make there are three types of impression one is impression on water if suppose you take a stick try to draw a line in the water as soon as the this stick moves again the water will come to the original shape second one is impression on the sand you go to sea beach in the sand if you take some make some line huh? some impression will be there but once again the wind blows air is there after some time again everything will be washed off but the third impression is impression on the stone which will be carved and which may remain lifelong so likewise the impression of any maya of any weak thoughts or any situation which is adverse to me let it not leave a permanent mark on me let it be just like an impression on water or at the most the impression on sand so that after some time again i come back to my original stage you see this is the quality of water what else <coughs> water always moves ahead you see water if suppose in the path of water some very big boulder comes some so water will make its own way isn't it go this way that way always try to move ahead let me also always move ahead whatever the obstacles come in my pursharat but let me always move ahead and ahead so if that situation is there i will always be moving because if water is moving then moving water is considered uh, pure water good water and if water is stagnated at some place then the germs and bacteria and bad smell etc they develop so if suppose our some of the weak things are there some something negativity and anger or jealousy or hatred or some type of negativity is there these are the germs it means somewhere my moving ahead progress ahead is has become less or has stopped then only these germs they are developed so like water let me always move ahead the obstacles will come but let them not stop my moving ahead in life so these are some of the qualities of water if you just churn this one you will find out with number of qualities of water they will come to your mind water always cleans you see for cleaning it is used some dirt or something is there just water you throw the thing will clean so let me also not only clean myself but if suppose some weak souls come some other come with the negativity or so i should be so much powerful that i am able to wash out their weaknesses so that when one goes back one goes with full empowerment with all powers so this is just like making friendship with the element of water because it is also one of the very major element which is going to play the wonderful role for the, in the transformation of this earth then another element is say earth hmm? what is the special quality of earth Hmm? our mother earth say just like water so many qualities the quality of earth is yes and it uh yes stable one thing is stability 
though now whenever the earthquake comes, this earthquake etc., it becomes unstable. But earth is always, it is pulling, the gravitational force is there. It brings everything to the earth, you see. So this gravitational force like that, so I should also be so much divine, so much powerful, as Baba says, huh? as in Baba we have seen so much, Baba used to say, and irrespective of anything, we all used to go in Baba's life. We used to be pulled by Baba. Similarly, just like Earth's gravitational force, Earth is having, this is one, everything comes back towards the Earth. This is one. Second thing is, earth is always a giver. Earth always gives. You put a seed in the earth, the whole plant will come up and thousands of the seeds, the qualities of the earth. Let me inculcate those virtues, qualities of the earth. What is the other quality of earth? Hmm? It is said that tolerance. Hmm? Earth is very tolerant. Whatever we extract, it is always giving. So, this tolerance and the stability and giver and all these qualities, if I am inculcating all these qualities, it means I am matching my sanskar with the earth element. So whatever the earthquake comes, whatever the instability is there in the earth, but those things will not be able to take my life because I have made friendship with those elements. These are subtle things you see because our body is made up of all these five elements as it is said. And the soul cannot leave the body if, because nearest thing with, of the soul is this body. It means these five elements. So, keeping this one, you see, in touch and making friendship with them means I am making friendship with the external elements also. And so, these external elements will be helping me in all the adverse situation. Because in general, whenever one element even gives problem, you see, then so many people die. So much situation changes suddenly, all of a sudden, earthquake comes. Only one element, you see, but within a few seconds or half minute, one minute, earthquake is enough for changing the face of the earth, you see. Similarly, flood, if flood is there, Say in tsunami, uh, these two elements just at a time, the earth as well as the water, because the earthquake took place in the sea bed, the sea. So earth as well as water, so how much devastation it has done. So just imagine in the end when all the five elements will be working together at a time at a very large scale. So Baba wants us to be just mentally ready and subtly acquiring these qualities. So this is with the earth. Hmm? Which is the other element? Say, air. Hmm? What is the special quality of air? Light, yes. It takes everything up. You see. And this will also be actually responsible for so much, especially for the cities and countries which are near the sea, you see, coastal areas, cyclones, etc. And how much devastation the cyclone brings, we all know. So making friendship with air means always be light. Whatever the situation is there, let me not become heavy. Let my mood not change. Let me be light, always coming back to my original stage in mind. 
<coughs> so if this is there, then I am always light, I am not heavy, accordingly my behavior and my, you see, with the other persons, my feelings with others will always remain the same here. Because in one Murli Baba has said that these long back, huh? in one awake Murli Baba said how these elements will be able, will be responsible to change the face of the earth. You may recollect those who are old or who must have read these Avyakt Murlis, I think early 70s or so. Some Murli was there that whenever in the end, huh, when all these five elements are working, the people are leaving the soul, uh, soul is leaving the body, going other, so all the bodies are there. So how the earth will be cleaned? You remember? Baba said the fire will work its fire will play its role. Then fire is one of the thing making the ash of the body. Then air, it will the air will be blowing, taking all this one ashes to the towards the sea. And then water will also will be cleaning. So these all will be on large scale so that the earth again these five elements of nature they are responsible for changing the face of the earth so that when we souls as new souls come from the soul world we come on a world just a very fertile very good clean and on this earth but gradually these changings they will be taking place so like that the fire element you see uh, what is the quality of fire we all know purifies fire, uh, changes the shape and uh, quality, everything, whatever is put in the fire, you see. It changes the thing, completely, change the shape. So Baba says that you should be Raj Yogi, Yogi, the fire, always letting the fire of Yoga, Yog Bhatti, so that whomsoever comes to you, see you and then gets transformed. Goes back with a feeling, yes, they are mine. They are ours. So in fire, this is one of the most quality, biggest quality. That shape of the things get changed. So in the end also when hundreds and thousands of souls, they will be suffering, you see. Some will require peace, somebody will require happiness and like that. They will come to us. Everywhere it will be spread. Scientists will just say and they will spread the word, yes, BKs and BKs are the only ones with whom, from whom you can acquire peace and happiness and by that time our stage will also be elevated. So when everybody will come to know, they all will be rushing towards us. So let me first prepare myself, if the people are coming, am I ready for that stage? Can I give to all of them? And so my stock, let me enhance my stock of peace, happiness and tranquility, all these virtues, divine qualities, let me see my stock, how high is my stock? If I am having sufficient things, then only I can share, then only I can give. So let me enhance this stock. And the fire, you see, this fire is reflected in the environment. In what form? In the form of sun. You see it is actually, the sun is the symbol of fire. So, if the how I can always be in that stage, high elevated stage, that if suppose my face is towards the sun, light is there, then my shadow will be on the back. As I move ahead, my face towards the light, sun, shadow will be back. This shadow is nothing but say my weaknesses, the maya. 
So if I am having always my face towards Baba, then our my weakness will be in the back. They will not hinder my path. They will not create obstructions. But as soon as I turn my face, my back is towards the sun and I am moving another direction, the, all the, you see, shadow will always be guiding me. It will move ahead of me, you see. I will be following my weaknesses. Weaknesses will be guiding me. So let me be my face always towards Baba. So, the another element is ether, the biggest one, the unlimited ones, always. And how to make friendship with this one? Uh, what is the biggest quality of this ether? Uh, unlimited, you see. And how the scientists are using this quality, they are leaving the satellites, you see, sending the satellites, and those satellites, etc., we are using in communication. You see, the waves are sent, and from the satellites they come back, and we are able to communicate. We can see whatever is happening in any part of the world, we can see it within no time. We can listen within no time. So, my, if my heart is also so unlimited that I am having communication with everybody, there should never be any communication breakdown from anybody. Usually what happens if I am having good friendship with some of the fellows, my communication is very good. But if my sanskars are not matching with somebody, then usually uh, I try to avoid the communication with them. So friendship with ether means if let me be my all communications, let me have all communication with each and every soul on the earth. My sanskar match with them and that will be possible only when I am unlimited. I am in the position to forgive others. So wide-hearted myself. Then in that case, what will happen? That the ether, the outside, I am making friendship with them. So if whatever, some atomic bomb, hydrogen bomb, missiles, rocket, whatever is coming from that side, from up, and whatever the destruction they may be doing. But if I have made friendship with the earth, this ether element, they are not going to harm me. Because I have made friendship. These are, this is a subtle thing. Actually, we can't compare on the physical level, but subtle things. So, let me have the friendship with these elements, Baba says. So, this is the conquering of nature, external nature, as well as the inner nature. So, how to control, and both are having the close relationship with them. Though we very much wish to uh, conquer my old nature, old sanskar. But always, we, it is not possible. Sometimes it becomes, sometimes again and again, reoccurrence of the old sanskar comes. We all are experienced. Then what to do in that case? Hmm? How to conquer? Baba says, when again and again that sanskar is coming up, then what to do in that case, situation? So usually, at this time also, uh, two murlis back, Baba has given three months time. Do all, you remember all, huh? After three months means after almost one and a half month, Baba is going to ask again, what you have done? How uh, you have conquered your old sanskars? So some of the method is, you see, to create new habits, new sanskar, and conquering the old sanskar, some of these things we can practice on this physical mundane level, and then some on the subtle level. So making new friendship, it is said in management, it is taught that how to make new habits, new sanskars. 
So, if suppose something is in the physical form, I want to make some sanskar, you see. Suppose I am smoking, I want to leave. I consume alcohol, I want to leave. Or I get angry, uh, I lose my temper, I want to leave it. So let me resolve it before a number of persons, good number of persons, in the society wherever I am living. Oh, I want to leave this sanskar and from today onwards I will try not to have this sanskar. So let it be in public, number one. So if it is in public, then it is going to help me because sometimes subtly I, you see, take the pledge with myself. But if I am taking with myself only, the others, they are not coming forward, they don't know. So if suppose some type of this one is there at the physical level, which may not be there much, you all are quite old. So this type of pledge let us take with that, oh, today I resolve that I will leave this old habit. Then if suppose there is some weaknesses, weakness in that, again the reoccurrence of the old habit comes, then there will be person to tell me, oh, you have taken this one oath, now you should be careful. So though at that moment I may not like it, but in the long run it is going to help me to leave that sanskar. So first is this thing. But there is, it is always not possible because there may be some sanskars, something which are actually, which I don't want that they should be revealed to all. So in that one I have seen that Sometimes if I am seeing that again and again some particular sanskar is reoccurring again and again, then I have seen in my case, practical case and others also, that in Baba's room actually, we with complete transparency and with all pure heart, let me know, Baba, I have tried to conquer this sanskar number of times. Baba, though you are helping me, but still I have not been able to conquer this particular sanskar. Now you have to do it Baba. I require your powers. And you see even a Lokik father if the son or daughter wants something from Lokik father, Lokik father always fulfill the desire of the children. So he is our incorporeal Godfather, the all, Almighty, powerful. But what Baba wants is the transparency. What Baba wants is from the clean heart the things should come. And I have seen that some of the sanskar which I am not able to conquer myself, it becomes very easy to conquer it with Baba's help. But what is required is not telling once. The second most important part is let this resolve continue for 21 days, continuously, three weeks minimum. So daily, in no condition, the old sanskar should be allowed to overrule the new sanskar. Suppose I am writing diary. Huh? What happens that I start making my chart and diary. One day, two day, ten days, it continues, but once it breaks, then again one day, two day, it breaks, then it breaks permanently. But whatever the new sanskar, new resolve I am making with myself, let in no condition be allowed to break in first twenty-one days, three weeks. And if we conquer myself in the, those three weeks, 21 days, then it becomes a permanent sanskar. And then it will never be break down. So this situation, we have to see that in no condition, if suppose I am writing chart and one day I forgot, suddenly I remember midnight or suddenly at what time, let me again complete that one. 
So that is going to help a lot and then again that old sanskar will not come. And especially during these days, what Baba has said till the March end, that these days are special days. Icha matram avidya wale din hai ye. Whatever I think, that will be done. So these days are special days. And let me take full advantage of this present days and whatever I want to do, let me do. This is another thing. And the third one is that again and again this one that let me take this pledge, resolve myself and <coughs> then for 21 days <coughs> let, let it not break whatever the situation is there. And third one is that sometimes I am not all powerful. Then what is required is to take the help of the seniors or those who are more powerful. And we can say, well, I am trying this much and if you can help me and during the early morning hour or Amrit Vela, I am trying myself but you also give me some light and might at that time. So more light and might will be flowing to me and then if I become more powerful then naturally I can face the situation with more grace and more competency. So what is required is at this time have introspection see inside and then Whatever the situation is, let me be with Baba. Baba is always there to help us. And I have seen, if with clean heart and with all transparency we go to Baba and we repeat this one, Oh, I am a victorious soul. Kalp before, 5000 year before, I have conquered this sanskar. And again I am conquering this one. Baba, 5000 years back you have helped me. You are again helping me now. Oh, so nice. And with that one, again and again repeating this one for at least first three weeks, then it becomes a sanskar. Even if it breaks down single day, again 21 days should be started from that day. That is. Suppose after 10 days suddenly it is broken down that again the old sanskar suppose affects me. Again let it be the first day and then from first day again the 21 days. Baba used to tell in Murli, you must have heard in Sakar Murli that earlier when uh, these our divine sisters, they went out for the knowledge. So first seven days to whom they were giving the knowledge, they used to be there for quarantine period. You may be knowing what is quarantine period, means separately. So let me be with myself. And again and again, if I make this one, if there is no breakage for 21 days, then as Baba says, success is your birthright and we will definitely be victorious and we will be able to conquer our old sanskar and old nature. Thank you. Om Shanti. Om Shanti.